What is going on guys? It's me again Vince with another video and you know with whatever's going on in the world right now with all of the protests and you know COVID-19 still out there I just hope everybody's trying to be safe and you know but let's not get political I'm just here to show a video and try to address some of the people's um, questions about my truck So a lot of people have been asking me how I did uh, my headlight with the DRL on and the marker light on at the same time. Uh, keep in mind I have a TRD Sport 2017 and with the TRD models you're going to have a daytime running light but your marker light shouldn't be turned on. Um, this marker light is only turned on constantly with the SR5 model. But with the SR5 model, you're not going to have the daytime running light. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you guys in this video. So stay tuned. And if you like this kind of video, please don't forget to subscribe and share this to other people. So that um, I can help you guys with, if ever you guys want to, you know, go this route in modifying your headlights. And I've said, let's just go dive right into it. Alright, so I want to point out the plug that came with the TRD models for the marker lights. So it's going to look like this. And it's actually going to come with only two wires. One is for negative and the other one is for power. So in order for you to run your marker light as a daytime running light and as a marker light at the same time, you need to have two power source. So what I did was I actually changed that into something like this. So as you can see, it has three wires. Two of those wires are power source and one is a negative. So this red and black, I just attached it to the marker, the side marker light. Um, as you can see, or as you know, uh, this side marker here, when you turn your lights into park this lights up so when this lights up this will light up so again this one right here is for the marker or the daytime and the green one is for actually when you try to hit the um, the turn signal it's getting power from this green wire right here so when you turn the when you hit the turn signal, uh, it cuts the power from here and it gives power to this one. And of course, the black and white is just negative. So there you go. And as you can see, I'm using an LED light um, on this one. Uh, in order for you not to have hyper flash, you need to have a resistor, something like this. So what you're going to do is just connect that to the negative and to the wire um, that gives you power for the turn signal. So that's pretty much it. Um, this kind of plug, I'm not sure where to get it online. I was just lucky to find it on a local store, but I've been trying to look online, Amazon, eBay, or anywhere, but I couldn't find it. Uh, I guess you just have to, you know, be resourceful and be lucky at the same time <laughs> but that's how I pretty much just did it so as you can see it has three wires compared to two wires so that's all it takes and yeah if you like this uh, video and if you find it helpful uh, please hit that subscribe button and try to share this to people so that you know I can help them if they want to go this route in modifying their headlights so that's pretty much it it's just a quick video thanks for watching guys catch you on the next one